And thanks for coughing up the cash to buy this captivating cockerama of big break boobs and adding this very rare documentary to your prize collection of videos such as Casablanca, The Great Escape and Sally and her barnyard friends. <laughs> what you've got here is a bunch of gaffs, goofs and never before seen messed up moments known in the trade as outtakes. So called because they're so embarrassing they pay an editor huge amounts of reddish to take them out. I have to say the editor who worked on Big Break was known in the trade as the rabbi of Shepherd's Bush because he made so many cuts. Yes. <laughs> But the bits he's cut out, we've put back in. So here are a few outtakes for you to take in. And as you see, we do have a bit of a run-through on the afternoon before we record the show at night, just so the contestants can find out how we play the game and discover for themselves the ins and outs of this little show that's been running across the BBC channel for seven years, like a big, strong, well-oiled ship. The Titanic. Thank you very much. Hello again, everybody. Now, this is not the usual big break show. We're a bunch of big, jot, hot shot, <laughs> old shot, 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 shot. <laughs> You said it, big boy. Big boy? <laughs> you said it, big boy? Listen, I could have been a gladiator. Feel that. Ah, you squeezed it. <laughs> now, what name would you give me, girls? I'm sort of half Elvis and half Rambo. How about Elbow? Elbow, that's nice. You should be Elbow, man of your age, approaching 60-odd. <laughs> oh, all right, 40-odd. Call me a liar for 20 years. And don't bite me or I won't change your litter tray. Walking around with these two girls. He's showing off, ladies and gentlemen, showing off his strength. What? <laughs> and a man... Oh, story of my life. Oh. <laughs> what type of man? What type of man would do that? I don't know what type of man could do that. <laughs> well, I'm going to go and meet the contestants. And I'm going to have a lie down. <laughs> never I thought you'd never John. ask. Oh, I'll be round later on with the filler, Sam. Come and join us. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> What number do you get if you multiply the number of musicians in a jazz quartet, that's normally three and a drummer, <laughs> to the number of days in Lent? Now then, you'd know this. All Irish people are religious. <laughs> My mother, well, she went to bingo religiously. <laughs> 160. No, who told you that? <laughs> yes, you did. He adds his own scores up. He gets three reds and a black, 127. <laughs> <laughs> right, how many in a quartet? Four. And how many days in Lent? Think of um, where Jesus um, starved himself, waiting in a queue here for a cup of tea and a bun. <laughs> so how many days and nights? Four. Forty. Forty? Yeah, that's why you give it up to represent the scoff that our Lord went with art. You know what I mean? You've got to be religious, mate. I'll give you that. Four times forty is? That's what you said. 160. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get me Why going Why didn't you lot. tell me? Well, we didn't have Lent in Salford. You lent somebody something, you never got it back. <laughs> yes, yes, we'll, we'll pot as, as many, many balls, balls as we can. <laughs> <laughs> there are 360 in a circle. Degrees. Degrees, correct. What number do you get if you take the number of Snow White's dwarfs Who's feeling happy? <laughs> Why don't you join these young stars of the future and me having fun with half an hour of splendid Saturday snookery? Yes, yes we'll, we'll pass as many balls as we can. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, do you know who I am? Watch this, son. This is the Moses shot. Moses? Moses shot. Pot the black. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what Jimmy Watana said to me once? <laughs> this is, this is the Moses trick shot. Remember this, ladies and gentlemen, the Moses shot. Watch this black. Yet. 
For those of you who live on another planet, you won't know the fellow with a fuzzy face. He is Big John Virgo, a man who started his early life as a 40 quid a week cloakroom attendant and has yet to live up to his early promise. <laughs> I'll never forget the very first day he wandered into the big break office looking for a job. A simple lad from Manchester, in a flat cap, open toe sandals with a Man United scarf tied over his tie. Do I have the soup stones? That was back in November 1990, and I know it was that year, because the next day, JV broke a mirror and got seven years bad snooker. Since that fatal day, we've stuck by each other through thick and thin, and I'm not referring to our ever-changing hairstyles. Whenever there's a cock up on the show, old JV's right there beside me, causing it. And as you'll see from the following clips, he knows as much about learning lines and getting trick shots, right, as I do about getting married. <laughs> He knows, he knows how to do it, but can never quite get it right. I hate this marriage joke. Yes. This is a first. JV boozing on big break. This isn't booze. No? This is me Auntie Jessup's jolly... whatever it is. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> this isn't booze. This is my Auntie Jessie's... Jollop of joy. <laughs> say that again. I'll say it again. <laughs> Go back. This isn't. <laughs> this isn't booze. It's me Auntie Jessie's jollop of joy. She makes it herself in the bath. <laughs> jollop of joy sounds interesting. Well, it is. <laughs> okay, darling. Over you go and place yourself in the arms of old Sasquatch. Big foot. Look at him. OK, Shaney. What we're going to do here, as you can see, we've got two reds and the blue, pink and black. We're going to hit the triangle. Two reds are going to move from side to side, and the blue, pink and black are going to go in the middle pocket. OK? And it works something like this. <laughs> well, let's have a look at the prize. <laughs> All right, Shaney, quite a simple shot, this. <clears throat> what we've got is the two reds in front of the blue, pink and black, but we'll hit the triangle, the two reds move away, and the blue, pink and black go in the middle pocket. And for those of you at home who heard that little laugh from the studio audience, this is the fifth attempt. <laughs> under pressure now. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Trick shot, take seven. <laughs> Today a trick shot, tomorrow the Embassy World Final. OK. <laughs> I'm going to try and pot the blue, pink and black in the middle pocket. And it should work something like this. For those of you hearing that giggling, this is the eighth attempt. <laughs> right, okay. Right. Right. Do it again. Okay. Right, this time for real. Two reds are gonna move from side to side and the blue, pink and black are gonna go in the middle pocket. Okay? And it works something like this. A blue ball. Well, it's another new face of Big Break. Please give him a big warm... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, give, I'll give it to you again, John. Blue ball, John. Well, it's always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and what we're going to try and do is to pot the blue, pink and the black. And it works like this, John. Well, we missed the both of them, but we'll get it tonight when we work <laughs> out. Yeah. Well, that's fair enough. OK, John, if, if you can just come round here. I'm left-handed. You're left-handed? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's <laughs> f it, <isn't> it? <laughs> <laughs> There we are. Yellow. Look at the barnet. <laughs> that's not a wig, is it? No, you would have got a better one than that, you'd buy in a wig. With... Little joke. White ball, John. White ball? Oh. <laughs> A young lad who we introduced as a new face a couple of series ago. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. 
We've been on offer. <laughs> a red ball, Jim. Oh, shit. <laughs> a red ball. This is a young man we introduced on a... <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> How are you going to see these one day, ladies and gentlemen? One day, these will all be cut up and shown just to show you what I've put up with for nearly 100 shows. Nothing else can go wrong. Red Bull, Jim. <laughs> Red Bull, John. Come in, John. Have a look. Nice waistcoat. Yes. Okay. What we're going to do? Uh... <laughs> Go on. We're going to pot the black in the top pocket. Easy. With the white. And it, it works like this. Oh, it shouldn't work like that. <laughs> Did my bow tie skew with or what? It's your head. <laughs> Go on then. I won't put you off, John. Okay. <laughs> From Manchester. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what we're going to try and do is to pot the black, which, as you can see, is covered by the red. And we, we're going to try and use the box, and it should work something like this. I hate this shot. <coughs> I don't know why I thought of it, really. I don't feel so bad now if I miss it. <laughs> Have a practice, John, for example. <laughs> Just move it back out. Oh, oh, all right. All right. <coughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Just one of Terry's. <laughs> Hope you're filming this. Come on. <laughs> Dennis Norton. Last girl. <laughs> I don't like this shot. Do you want me to do it? I, I actually have got a great shot, you know, where you go like that, and you go like that, and you throw it in the air, and you go like that, and it goes in the top pocket. Now, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> How do I do that? Yeah, I've got to do that one. Well, I like that one. Set this up, come on. Okay. <laughs> I don't like this shot, you know. Hang on. Okay, Jim, thanks. <laughs> you can't. Okay. All right. If this works, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> oh, it really did. No, I'll tell you how you do it. Right, OK. No joking apart. What you do, you get this box and sling it off the table. Right, here we go. I'll do it this time, OK? Are we ready? Yeah. OK. You weren't thinking of making the pub, were you? Ready? What we're going to try and do is to pot the black. <laughs> I've got it, I've got it. I know what's going wrong. I hate this shot, I didn't want to do it. I know what's going wrong. Yeah. Please believe me. Yeah, we are believing you. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> I know what's going wrong, I shouldn't be doing this shot. <laughs> Okay, Mike, I'm sure you remember the pocket money table, six red, six coloured balls, numbers on them are the value in pounds. Keep your eyes open for the double pockets. If you put the £60 blue into the pink pocket, indicate the screens at home, it'll blue. double up. £60 Who? Pound blue. 
Six, 60 pound pink. Can I do that again? Yes. Right. Whoa, whoa. If you pop. All right, I'll start from the top, right? And, yeah. Let's okay. be serious, yeah. All right. Okay. Well, Mike, I'm certain you remember the toe. We've got the six reds and six covered balls, numbers on them out of the <laughs> <laughs> You said you could, he said he could do it when he wrote in. All right, well, I can't no, come do on, it. Come on, no. you do no, it. No, I'll, no, no. It. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right. All right. Go away then. Stand over there. <laughs> okay, mate. Right. Well, you know what I do. <laughs> Remember the balls on though, with the amount of money in the pocket. And after each you've got to go with a normal snooker rules apply. And at £50 pocket, as indicated in the blue pocket, as indicated at home, the thing will double up. And Manchester United are fantastic. And vote Labour if you want to be a thing. And Salford, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> but uh, we ask you to make your break. <laughs> no. OK, thank you. <laughs> All right then, mate, we'll tell you a little joke. <laughs> <laughs> You've got all them six hanging red balls down there. You've got all them colour balls. The numbers on the matter of how you've been pound. If you put the six pound pink, the pink ball is indicated on the screen. Oh, it'll double up to 120 pound. All right, make your break, mate. All right. <laughs> Snooker. It's a funny old game, isn't it? I've been interested in it ever since I was the worst behaved, spotty little kid in Blackheath. I was always playing little pranks on people, like taking old ladies halfway across the road and leaving him there and putting my old grand's bedpan in the freezer. Do you know, I was the kind of kid my mum didn't want me to play with. <laughs> I reckon I was about 13 when I discovered our local snooker hall and got bitten by the bug. It's been fumigated since. <laughs> right away I was hooked on snooker. I used to hang around that snooker hall so much they made me the club mascot. They couldn't afford a dog. <laughs> by the time I was 14 I'd inhaled so much cue chalk every time I sneezed there was a snowstorm in our front room. <laughs> Yes, I remember it well. Day after day, I slipped out of school and sneaked off for a quick snook. Stop it, my mum said, you'll go blind. Oh, I didn't care. To this day, I've still got snooker balls in my blood. That's why I look so lumpy. <laughs> little did I know when I was just a little potter what jolly times lay ahead when I signed for big break and got pally with the punters in unexpected, unrehearsed game show moments like this. Red Bull. Well, it's always nice to have him on big break. He always does well. He's now ranked number eight in the world from Wales. Darren Morgan! Darren Morgan. <laughs> I think you want to come on again. You're both tight, my love. <laughs> 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 what we're going to try and do is to pot the black in the middle pocket with the white. Right? And the way it works, quite simply, just knock the tube from under the cue ball, like so, and the cue ball will go across the table and pop the black. <laughs> Astounding, isn't it? Do you know what? From this angle, it looked as if it missed. <laughs> <laughs> we'll put the red reasonably close, so if you sort of move around the side of the table, that's right. Have you ever held a snooker cue before? Uh, well, my husband tried, but it wasn't very successful. <laughs> Which word is described by these two different clues? Be a whole circuit ahead of a runner in a race and part of the body from waist to the knees when you sit down. It's the knees must be. Trunk? <laughs> I don't know where I got that wrong. Trunk? Waist to the knees when you sit down. Do you know, Jane? I didn't hear the question. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is lap. Oh, yeah. You can't be a trunk ahead of someone in a race, can you? <laughs> you could have used an elephant. Lloyd might on a warm day. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know You've that. seen what Linford Christie, that looks like a trunk down there. Trunk <laughs> down there. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see him get dragged round the track at the relay race. You got the wrong one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, old Linford. He has got yards of it, Linford, hasn't he? <laughs> Looks as if he's got Chris Eubank shoved down the front of his shorts. <laughs> Imagine getting your flies out and it pops out like that. I'm a boxer. <laughs> 290 pounds. Right. 
Oh, no. Miss Red. Oh. In which did Queen Victoria die? 1901. You're on big break, whoever this is on the phone. Play, play. Go on, carry on. Yes. 300. <laughs> David Rolls scores 300 pounds. <laughs> Hello, hello, Dave. One, two, three. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. 290 pounds there. Uh, winners, 590. The clock will start the next time you strike the cue ball. First time on big break, we wish you the best of luck. Good luck. One year, JV, we'll have to have you running around the table. We'd like to see that, wouldn't we? Yeah. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Where you got a woods and burner? Well, I've just heard on the grapevine that British Rail have uh, taken on a new announcer up in Newcastle. Uh, so if you could put a bit of reverb on, I'll do him announcing the train to London, and it's a Peter Beardsley. Well, three there, so obviously, flat or three, or you go to London, or obviously go to the full air, and you go round about the fucking in the park. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh oh, here comes trouble. Oh, not me. Bravo. You see what, ladies and gentlemen, it's... <laughs> I told him to piss off out. <laughs> Just to remind the viewers at home that don't know the rule, dead simple. It's called a red hot and pot and all the snook it and drop it in the pocket. Lean over and the foul the footing on the floor and the ten sec holes deep join all three. Hit <laughs> and get the sneak and the... On the end of it. Now, three sec holes for each person who have the flop tangle over the drain to get the whole deep joy for this. And all round the table, loading four in the video. He's giving it. Here we go. Yes, yes, we'll pot, pot as, as many bowls as, as we can. Do <laughs> <laughs> you know, I keep noticing this. The players walk down to the table like this. <laughs> <laughs> and they walk back like that. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's check out the prize, babe, you know what I mean? <laughs> Sounds like Willie Thorne combing his hair. <laughs> if I can shake your hand again, I'll, yeah, give, you the, I'll give you the fisherman's handshake. Fisherman's handshake. Oh, yeah, really, doesn't it? <laughs> I'll just start it again. Yeah? Yeah, it's a good, good old game, isn't it? Mm. Can't beat it on a frosty morning, dangling your worm in the water. <laughs> OK, John, what's your surname, by the way? Willie. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> John Willie. Yeah. OK. You can call him Nobby. Yeah. <laughs> Pelt. Pelt. Here's a correct answer. That's a good one, that. What number do you get if you take the days in June from the number of stars on the US flag? Oh, no. Aha! Now, how many stars on a US flag? How many states are there? don't know. I know how many, I know how many right, days in If you want to remember, it's interesting this, want to remember how many states there are in America, think of the programme with Steve McGarrett in it. Hawaii... 7-0. Booker, Dano. Illiterate. Go down there and teach her. Now, 
away 5-0, right? Now then, you've got to take from that the number of days in June. 30 days have... September. 25. <laughs> 30 days have September. Take away 5, 25. Jim, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's face it, our little show ain't exactly mastermind, is it? But we do have fun. In this next bunch of big break bits, you'll probably spot two of our regular snooker stars looking a teeny bit rough at rehearsals. The first fella is the slowest snookerist in the world, Terry Griffiths, who has to be force-fed half a pint of antifreeze before each show, just to get him mobile. And if that don't work, we have to give him a kickstart with jump leads. And the other well-known pro is Big Willie Thorne. E of the wide party. The only man I know who combs his hair with a sponge. <laughs> hey, like that, don't you? You might suss that Willie looks a wee bit hungover. Well, he went to a fancy dress ball the night before, pulled his polar neck sweater halfway up his head, and won first prize as a roll on deodorant. <laughs> you never thought I was going to say that, did you? There's also a clip of a spontaneous game we played one afternoon when we should have been rehearsing in which JV bets Troy Dante, his manager, that he can't put three balls, and I rather foolishly tell Troy that if he succeeds in doing it, I will personally expose my rear end in a certain well-known department store. I'm not saying who won the bet, but the girls in Woolworths didn't half get a shot the next morning. Cue further cock-ups. Right, I'll break them up for you. I can't handle this, Cue. Never mind. I'll break the balls up for you. This is what you do. Use the left side. The left side. That's too slow. No, I ain't. Watch this. Good shot. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Why don't you join these young stars of the future and me having fun with half an hour of splendid Saturday snookery? Yes. 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 Potters, Potters, Potters balls balls as we can. As we can. <laughs> <laughs> Who's out then? You there, Jimmy? Love you, Jim. I was talking about you, Jimmy. <laughs> He's not here. He's gone to have his hair cut. Well, that won't take long. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, they made me do that one. I didn't want to tell that joke, but... Bit gone, yeah. What do you want Jimmy for? Well, I've decided to make Jimmy White rich and famous. Well, he's already a world-class snooker player. Yeah, almost, but not quite, is he, eh? Almost, son, almost, son, but not quite. Now, have you noticed, right, every time we get to the final of one of these big world snookers, he loses it by a whisker. Does he? So I've decided... To make him this special okey cokey, all singing, all dancing, dip your bread in, tell him nothing, cue, out of my little woodwork set. <laughs> and I'm going to flog it to him for 500 quid. 500 quid? Looks like an ordinary cue to me. <laughs> Do you know who I am? An ordinary cue? It looks like an ordinary but can you imagine? Oh, That's what Stephen Henry will think, right? Imagine the scene. The last frame. The red's over the pocket. Hey, Ben, it's ridiculous. What are you talking what are you about? What talking about? It's just an ordinary cue. It's too far to reach with the rest. What is Jimmy going to do? Oh, he's going to lose again. That's ridiculous. You he can't ain't going to lose with this cue, son. It's ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Oh. Which number do you get if you multiply, multiply, multiply? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you've got the answer phone and the fax machine, which is very nice, and you've also got your wine selection. Don't miss it, whisk it, miss it, miss it. You see, I've already sounded like I already have. Don't mix it with the whiskey. Let's do all that again. Nice clap, everyone. <laughs> well, well done. Well done. Well, I mean, there's not many left, but very good, Willie. And you've got the, uh, what have you got? Let's have a look at the old scoreboard. You've got the answer phone and fax. And you've still got, uh, the, oh, sh I'm not doing very well here. <laughs> I fell to pieces. <laughs> Let's play our first game. It's called All oh, Gold. Where's the tickets gone? If you get three balls, right? Mm. I'll give you one if I get three balls, I promise you. I'll show my <laughs> in Woolworths. Will you? Get your strides off. <clears throat> here we go. OK, Troy. He's funny, this lad. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm just chalking my cue. Just testing. <laughs> right. Always, oh. hit, always hit the ball in the middle. Well, Nugget, you, you, got, you got me in some trouble, Nugget. Oh, so thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, let Troy do this one. Let's give him a go. <laughs> Hiya, Steve. Just Don't worry, mate, right. relax. Watch this. This is how it's done. 
it in the middle. It's cute. We've had money on this. It's cute or funny. The cue ball's funny. I'm telling you, it's funny. Can I use yours? OK, Troy, you've got maximum time, and it will start the next time you strike the cue ball. One. Yeah. I'll repeat, the record's nine. <laughs> Two! Seconds. This could be a record. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, oh, come on, Troy, you've got five seconds. Wait a minute, you've got time. Take your time, Troy. It's it now. You got four. <laughs> this was the okay. worst part of band. <laughs> Here's a bit of Jen I bet you didn't know about Big Break. We record 36 shows every year and they're all done three shows a day in 12 days flat. And by the end of them 12 days, we're all flat. <laughs> well, not only that, we record our Christmas show in the middle of June, usually on a boiling hot day with everyone dressed up in fairy tale characters and loads of big plastic Christmas trees wilted in the heat. Honestly, it's true. Here's an excerpt from Alice in Snookerland featuring Dave Lee, our warm-up man, getting his tongue all tangled as Santa Claus and a bunch of slebos larking about in very hot costumes. Old JV was so hot that day, the Grecian 2000 started running down his legs. And Dave Lee weren't too happy either. I'm gonna be snookering you, snookering you tonight's Big Break! Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to the Big Break version of Alice in Snookerland! Sorry. I'm gonna be snookering you, snookering you tonight's Big Break! Ho, 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 ho! Welcome to the Big Break for... Uh, well, welcome. Snookering you, snookering you tonight's Big Break! Ho, ho, ho! Welcome to the Big Break version of Alice in Snookerland. A chance to patter, chatter, and generally matter with the nafty knitter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> now, you look a bit miffed, mine hair. So would you be if you'd been chased by an upper dog tra truck by a greyhound? I'll say that again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it comes. This there is the are. line. Are you ready? <laughs> and then if we can keep. Can we get on with the game, please? Yeah. I'm going to say this line in a minute. It's going to come. Keep going. All right, off. Off the game. Okay. Can we get on with the game now? I'm starting to molt. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a game. This is serious stuff. All for charity tonight. So, eyes down, look in. Let's play Christmas. Oh, f***. <laughs> Give me dumb. Steve, go on. Are you dumb? And then, and you I'm say... dumb. I must be to come on looking like this. Are you dumb? Nobody's giving me a script. There it is. Look, just, I must oh, be sorry. to come on looking like this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you oh, dumb? I must be to come on looking like this. Right. Jim. No, no. So come on looking like this. Jim, that means I'm about oh. to speak. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers on your buzzers. On your own buzzer, doormat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Bamba Gascoigne, I loved him. On your buzzers. <laughs> Queens, can you take it? <laughs> <laughs> Put it between your legs. <laughs> It's all cock and ball. <laughs> Boys and girls, did you ever hear about Albert the brown nosed reindeer? <laughs> <laughs> he used to stand just behind Rudolph. <laughs> and he Go could on. run just as quick, but he couldn't stop as far. <laughs> Yeah.
Did you spot John Parrot as the cat? He weren't too happy there, because next day he was going to the vet. <laughs> Which brings me to the spot in the video you've been waiting for. The really naughty bits. Now, you saw Dave Lee a bit earlier getting his beard in the twist. And between takes, him and me generally have a bit of fun talking to the audience and saying lots of things they'd never allow on Channel One at tea time, supper time, or any time, come to think of it. And dust on her hair, look, with, with the party. That's your type, Dave. It is, she's breathing. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely my type. <laughs> yeah, she'll do an all love. Pass her down. Did you? Did you hear that joke? Said, <laughs> did you hear the joke when an elephant escaped from the zoo and was in the garden, right, eating cabbages, and a little boy phoned up the policeman. He said, there's a big monster in our back garden. It's a big monster, prehistoric, and it's pulling up cabbages with its tail. And the policeman said, what's it doing with them? He said, you won't believe me. <laughs> Now, that ain't a bad boy's go out there, Simon. Don't stand next to him. No, it's take People think their tellies are packed up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Simon. You'll like this. Not a lot. Not a lot. Remember him? <laughs> yeah, who, who was it again? Oh, Paul, Paul Daniels. Daniels. Right, we're going to put the pink over the middle pocket. We're going to put the cue ball here. And what we're going to try and do is to pot the pink and black in the one shot. Oh. And it should work something like this. Go on, get up. Get up. Oh, no. <laughs> really, there? I bet he can do it. He'll do it. He'll do it. Yes. You see, his trick shots are so trick, they're unbelievable. Here's a trick prize. <laughs> no, no I think that's we're happy with that. We're happy with that. No one's inflammable. <laughs> had an agent said that once. Okay. Do you remember him, Dave? Yeah. An agent called Jimmy McKay. Oh, God, yeah. Do you remember him? Yeah. He said, oh, he used to be like an old woman flapping, oh, where you been? I've been here. Oh, but, uh. <laughs> he said, I watched a comedian the other night, he got a standing invasion. <laughs> <laughs> then the other night, died on his <laughs> which goes to prove no one's inflammable. <laughs> I've got a mate called Stucky who gets these words wrong, and he said to me once, this is great, he meant to say, well, I was sitting there all hung over years ago, looking at this thing, you know, like, ugh. And he meant to say, I have a mesmerised or transfixed, and he said to me, what's up with you? You're sat there transvestited. <laughs> Had me stockings on. And then he said, watch them bloody jellyfish, they're mean, they're <laughs> There's them Portuguese tug-of-wars. <laughs> What about the woman that called her husband into the kitchen? And she says, could you make love to me? He says, why? She says, the egg timer is not working. <laughs> Do you know you look like when you wink there? Oh, it looked like Robert Newton, didn't he? Look. Oh, hi, Jim Laddie. <laughs> Who put the sand in the Vaseline? <laughs> oh, it'll be a rough passage tonight. <laughs> Do you need the rest? Yeah. And we're starting off with the rest. Anyway, you've got one minute, ten <laughs> seconds. We're all rooting for you, Stacey. And listen, it's longer than you think. Do you so say that to them all? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's smiling at you yeah. now, <laughs> Just before I say, from behind and not too hard. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> the last time I went to Liverpool, right, I was in a car and these two little kids said, hey, mister, we'll look after your car for you for a tenner. I said, it's OK, son, it's got a Rottweiler in the back. She said, what's it like putting out fires? <laughs> <laughs> you do my bit. Nah. <laughs> Join us stars of the future and him having fun with half an hour. Try that. Right, go. Go, boys, go. Why don't you join 
Us, us young stars, go. Why don't, Why don't you, you join, join us young, young stars? stars. <laughs> 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 Why don't no no? Yeah. Why don't you join us, 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 young stars? Right, go go boys go. Why, Why don't, don't you, you join, join us, us, young stars, stars of the future, future and, and me having fun? Him with him. Martin <laughs> Howard's splendid Saturday snow cream. <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there, Right, this is the Annie Oakley shot. Annie Oakley. Yeah. Get I'm, your gun. I'm going to pot a moving target, Jim. Yes. When I say pull. Yeah. Pull. <laughs> Haven't pulled for a while, mate. <laughs> I want you to hit the black, and as it passes the yellow pocket, yes. I'm going to knock it in with the white. Right. OK. How quick do you want this? Well, you give me the money later, right? Pull. Pull. <laughs> oh. Right, I did a bit All right, no, we've again. got to practice this, haven't we? I mean, yeah. we've been really, you know... Bits... Yeah, yeah go on. Pull. <laughs> Raise the hand like this. Don't worry about me, the back's gone. Drop the hand. No. It's gone. Pull the gone. thumb over there. Pull the thumb like, like, like that. So you go like that. Oh, I'm like, ready. Like that. Hit the white in the middle. Yeah. But you go a bit higher. A bit higher. About there. Now just hold on. Yeah. Are you ready? Ready, sir. Pull. Now! <laughs> What I want to try and do is it's a bit harder. Yeah. Pull. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> we'll I do thought this. That, I, I thought this was a good idea. I think it's a great idea. What time's McDonald's shut, Trace? <laughs> Boys, you're not that hungry, are you? OK. Ready? Pull. Go! Oh, no. <laughs> Pull. Oh. <laughs> here we go, then. Can I have a go at pulling? You can pull. Because I've got I'll go over here. OK. Hit the white towards the middle pipe. Now. Go. Go. Go on. Go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> go. Oh, all right. No, it's just a bit quick. Never mind. We've got this now. We've got it sussed. <laughs> Say go, Jim. What? Why blame me? <laughs> Go! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've got this now. We've got it now. We have got, got it. it now. I'm gonna get the bloody blame for this, I know it. I, it, it seemed a good idea at the time. Go, go. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me when you're gonna go. <laughs> right, right. Aim at the pocket, aim at the pocket, right? Okay? Right. Tell when you're gonna go. 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 Now. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wow. What a lovely name. Adriana. Yeah. That's a lovely name, isn't Thank it? Thank you. <laughs> what does it mean then? It means what? I don't know. Is it um, Adriana? Sort of try the taste of Adriana. <laughs> oh, you've got a nice middle name too, haven't you? Mm. Come on, what is it? Marina. <laughs> <laughs> uh, old Troy Tempest, he was one of the answers to our questions the other day. Can you remember them fish men? Fish, 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 that's a lovely name, that is. Thank you. And what do you do with yourself, Adriana? Um, I just finished college and then I had my baby, so I'm at home at the moment. Finished college and had a baby? Mm. <laughs> well, university. <laughs> <laughs> university rather than Well, I won't college. ask you what you were studying then. <laughs> <laughs> and what little baby have you got? Boy. Oh, no. Nice. What's his name? Kyle. What? Kyle. Kyle? <laughs> Miss Ford? No. No. <laughs> Kyle, that's just an onion. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get these names from? You'd be worth a fortune in Scrabble. Here. <laughs> now, up the snakes and down the ladder. Scrabble, your name would be worth about 45. What's your last name? Centrito. <laughs> Centrito? Yeah. Now, where's that from? Italy. Um, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's so good. 
Kyle Centrito. Hodgkinson. <laughs> Life is it like a thing. <laughs> Tell them about Errol Flynn, Pam. Come on. It's a long time ago, because I'm quite an old lady now, but uh, when I worked for Warner Brothers, the film company, mm. I had a ride in a lift with Errol Flynn. Do you want to restate that? No. <laughs> So, Helen? I'm a mum of five, so kept this... Five? Life. Yeah. And here's me going to ask you if anything exciting's ever happened in your life. <laughs> Married five years and got five children. That's not bad. No, not five going at So what do you do in the three months a year? <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't play golf at all then, really. <laughs> Still trying to work out how it happens. Five in... <laughs> <laughs> we won't go into that now. <laughs> all fingers just went in kids' ears. <laughs> So, Helen, so you must have had, at one stage, five children, no, three children in nappies all at the same time. Yes, all under the age of three, yeah. Oh, that, well, my wife was saying that is a nightmare, isn't it? Um, no, but it was good. They're good kids. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, nice, isn't it? Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, Planning Mr. for any more? Unfortunately not. Mike's had the chops, so that's the end of it. <laughs> He's had the what? Chop. What, what is that? <laughs> it's a little operation. I didn't even know about that. <laughs> well, Mrs. Bobbitt. <laughs> Just stick the ball in the middle. Oh, like this. That's right. OK, now, ju 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 Put your hand a little bit further back. That's it. Raise the bridge. Put the thumb up Walking like around that. the garden like a teddy bear. <laughs> Drop that. Now, what we've got... No, drop this slightly. That's Please. It. You go like that. <laughs> now, what we want to do is hit right in the middle of the it gap. It sounds like a conversation in the bedroom next door, doesn't it? No. <laughs> just hold on. Yeah. That's it. Push it through now. <laughs> just hold on a minute. Please. Come on. Can you hear them two in the room next door? <laughs> Have a listen, Mother. Right. Just make certain you hit the ball in the centre. <laughs> and push it through straight. I think that's... That's about it, but aim for the gap. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Oh, well, do it yourself. Anyone ever tried to hide anything a bit embarrassing yes. anywhere? A bit embarrassing? Oh, come on, give us a story. Want to hear this? Want to hear this? The week? Yeah. Come on, then. Come on. What have you found? Well, there was um, a CITES convention in Holland. A what? Which CITES, that's endangered species. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. And um, we were told that they'd be smuggling back all these um, nasty snakes and poisonous toads and things and to look out for them. And we stopped this chap and um, we thought we were onto something. He was a bit dodgy, but we were looking for drugs and mm. um, at the end of the, the search of his luggage we suddenly noticed that his t there was a bulge in his trousers and it had started to move. <laughs> Did um, you have that dress on? No. <laughs> I, was say, I think you're going to arrest me in a minute as well. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> go on Ellen, go on, go on. So we whipped him into an interview room and, and had a look down his trousers as you do. Of and it was <laughs> And it was a snake, and... What type of snake? I don't know. <laughs> Did it have two eyes? <laughs> he'd got it tied around his leg, strapped around his leg, and they'd drugged it, and he'd got the head in the crotch. And the heat of his body had, and the length of the journey had made this thing come to, and it had started to move. Yeah? And it was poisonous. It was poisonous? Oh, it was poisonous, yeah. Head's expression a bit off more than you could chew. <laughs> that there's a moral to the story, and that what? was never to trust a man with a bulge in his trousers, you know, because it could be a snake. For dear old John and all my snooker mates, thank you for all the fun we've had on Big Break, and for teaching me that playing snooker is just like having sex. You don't have to be good at it to enjoy it. <laughs> <sighs> See what I mean? Snooker in you, snooker.
join these young stars of the future and me having fun with half an hour of splendid Saturday snookery. Yes, we'll, we'll pot as many balls as we can. <laughs> Forget it. <laughs> Watch something else. <laughs>